Network of awareness makes your brain coherent. One of the fastest growing podcasts, you can hear it 24 7. Got listeners out in London, informationalist in Paris. The echo spreading out, no parrot. Just dissect, digest, and share it. The righteous rhymes hit the spirit. Click 90 times, it won't perish. Cause Yaz the mind ain't no fairy tale like the barely our parents. It's time to rise, don't get weary. United minds, it's apparent. Download every single errand, but most ain't fit to catch it, even if they were Larry. Interviews, the interludes, they enter you, taking you on a journey like no other. It places you in a state of awareness. It's your fault if you hate the truth. Cause y'all even y'all always on this way, my brother. Better change your views. All praise yeah. Positive people, you are now tuned in to the Network of Awareness podcast radio station, giving you in-depth information on society and culture in America and abroad, with messages of inspiration, with keen insights, reputable interviews, and much more. So now, without further ado, your host of the Network of Awareness podcast, Aura, the Informationalist. You are now tuned in to the network of awareness. 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 Yeah, yeah, let's go. How you doing? How you doing? Please just tell me what's happening to me in plain English with, without the mumbo jumbo. Peace and greetings, folks. This is all the informationalists from the Network of Awareness, your podcast radio show. And today is Most High Monday, June 27th. It's approximately 8.47 a.m. Central Standard Time here in the state of Louisiana, broadcasting directly from New Orleans And this is my last day here people I'm going to be flying out tonight Back to the Tampa Bay area Of Florida And um, had a great time here with wifey And uh, you know If you ask me if I'm going to come back here eh, Maybe But there's other places to go to Like I said before I'm when you grow up in New York City, you've done seen it all. You know what I mean? Today's episode for Mosai Monday is the USA, excuse me, the USA is transforming. We're going to talk a little bit about that. It's not going to be a long show, but like I said, I couldn't, I didn't have a chance to do a pre record yesterday. Um, had to do an interview. And uh, just got to spend some more time uh, with the woman that I care about a hell of a lot, and um, we had a good we had a good time. Still having a good time, but business as usual this week. Tomorrow I'll be going live again at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Shout outs to all the brothers and sisters that have been following me on TikTok. The TikTok numbers, little by little, is growing. Right now, I'm about 170 followers, but I have over 4,100 likes. So that means a lot of people like me, but they don't want to follow my they don't want to follow my content. They just want to like it. But it is what it is. I just like the fact that whoever is following me on TikTok, 
and and liking all my videos and coming on to my podcast, I could see the numbers are growing organically, even though none of the marketing campaigns worked out because of my shadow banning. Hey, we're going to find a way because where there's a will, there's a way. And when there's a will, there's a way that means that the most high has got his hands on it. And I'm forever grateful. Shout outs to all the people that follow me on IG. Uh, shout outs to all the people that follow me on Twitter. Shout outs to all the people that are uh, follow me on these other business networks like Abingdale, um, Podmatch, Podmatch people, the people that are waiting to interview with me. I'm gonna get to y'all this week. I promise. Just been very busy, and uh, I'm gonna finalize uh, this week and going into the next week my Roku channel. And internet TV channel Network of Awareness.tv Which will be launching in July Now Something I wanted to mention to you people Is that Today is Most High Monday So always give praise to the Most High Always give praise If you wake up in the morning Give thanks Right? Let's give thanks right now to the Most High Because it's very important that we understand that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. There is no such thing as race. Let me say it again for the people who can't hear. I'm going to say it louder. There is no such thing as race. Race has been created by man. I'm going to say it again. Race has been created by man. The Most High created us to be in His image. The Most High didn't say, I'm going to create multiple races. Most High created us in His image. And that image is the image of light. It is the image of the very essence of where creation comes from. Okay? Plain and simple. Are there different types of species out there? Absolutely. But there's only one human being. So we are all spiritual beings having a physical experience, regardless of our skin complexion. Okay, but because certain nations were given certain privileges over others, all of these social constructs have been created to identify each other so that we look at each other as separate from each other. Okay? Plain and simple. So stop believing. If, if that's something you want to do, go right on the head. But you're dumb for thinking that. There's no such thing as race, people. And because of that, because people are so dumbed down in their perceptions of life, we are now going through a transformation period, which is much needed because it's all part of the spiritual warfare here in the United Serpents of America. People, <clears throat> this thing where the red states have overturned Roe versus Wade, um, it's all part of the spiritual warfare. And what it's doing is it's really kind of separating the one third from the two thirds. Now, what a woman wants to do with their body is up to them. But I'm going to tell you something. The only reason abortion even became popular, especially with Planned Parenthood, is to depopulate. It's part of eugenics. Okay? And there's so many people like the Tavis Scott Institute and whatever, Margaret, um, the lady who started P Planned Parenthood, Marit Saringer or whatever her name is. These people were all part of eugenics cults and organizations. These were Masonic orders that they were part of. Okay, so the sisterhoods of Masonic orders were part of this. Uh, whatever her name is, Mariam Blavatsky, she was another big proponent of eugenics and depopulation and studying the human uh, being. But it's all demonic. All of these people are demonic. And they've all introduced 
different ways of perceiving life to distort people's perceptions. And present day, there's a lot of people that have distorted perceptions. And if you're somebody who thinks there's such thing as a race, I'm here to tell you that that's far from the truth. And, and that's not coming from me. That's just a fact. And if you do enough research, you'll realize that everybody's just a human being. They are a spiritual being having a physical experience, at least the ones that still have spirits. I'm not talking about your clones and automatons and all that. <laughs> right now, the USA is transforming people. And it's transforming into a very, very dark, satanic culture. And it has been for quite some time. But it's going to get even worse. Because it's meant to. This is all part of the process in these beginning days of revelations. And you are going to see, most of us are going to probably be alive to see this country fall to its demise. But for world domination for one world order system. That's why the agenda 21, which is really agenda that has to be finalized by 2030 is significant to what is going on in this transformation of America. America is being transformed into a do without will society in all of the, all of the States throughout the country. Nobody is exempt from this transformation. And I'm going to tell you this. As I was walking around New Orleans, when we got to certain corners, they have these cameras that are posted up high on the corners. They're usually attached to whatever storefront or building is there. And they literally tell you there's a recording that says you are being watched. Okay, and they have a bunch of cameras and they got little noises to go, woo, woo, woo. You are being watched by blah, blah, blah. And I just said to myself, this is all what we, when I was a kid, thought that our great grandchildren would be experiencing. We thought that this type of society and this type of way of life here in the United States was not going to happen for a long time. But here I am, 44 years old, and I'm seeing it clear as day. Stuff that I read in books when I was 18, 19 years old that I didn't think I was going to experience, I'm living it. And, it, it, you know, I used to think that technology had a great deal with it. But when you look at technology, the government has technology that is about several hundred years advanced to what technology we have readily available to us. And they do that purposely because it has to be a society of scarcity. It cannot ever be a society of abundance because once we live as a society of abundance and we have an abundance mindset, everything changes. Everything. The whole entire zeitgeist changes. But because this is a prison planet, we have to go and go through the struggle of battle with the flesh, also known as the ego. We have to battle with our egos. And a lot of us have submitted willingly to our ego because we don't want anything to do with the spirituality of things. And the, the forces that are controlling this uh Society here in America know that. They know that. They know that they've been working real hard to get you to believe that. And they've done a really good job at that. That's why there's only a few of us that know that all of this illusion is not meant for us. It's meant to distract us. And it's meant to keep us down. That's all it's meant for. Nothing else. And... Just being out here in the last couple of days, I'm noticing that the, the United States is transforming into a shit show, into a dog and pony show. 
There's so much ratchet shit going on across the board. Oh, thank you. Yes. Shout outs to Sister Antoinette. Margaret Singer. Yes, that is her. She was part of the Tavistock community or society. Big time eugenics. But here in America, let me tell you something. There's such a transformation of fucking shadiness and of grimy, shysty shit. Shout outs to Brother Webb. I see you, brother. Thank you for joining the broadcast. Um, even within the truth community or the so-called truth community, because I don't even know what the fucking truth community is anymore, to be honest with you. Because there's so like you heard me say the other day, there's literally a one-third in the truth community. Because a lot of people in this truth community are not real. They're fucking fake as fuck. And I'm not going to go deep into that because I I could fucking be here for like a, a whole week talking about all the fucking shady shit that I see within this truth community or so-called truth community. A lot of dumb shit, a lot of shady shit, a lot of people not giving props where props is due, a lot of uh, fake ass recognition, a lot of fucking cheerleaders, a lot of motherfuckers that can't think for themselves, a lot of people that sound like other people, all that other bullshit. I, I don't got time for that shit. I'm a fucking three-dimensional thinker. Matter of fact, I'm a five-dimensional thinker now. And I, I roll with the most high. I don't follow man. I don't follow one man, and I don't fucking follow man. N- and nor will I ever. Okay? Just because, let me tell you something, people. If you really want to know what your reality is, if you really want to know what, who and what you are, that's your fucking responsibility. Stop looking for other people to give you an understanding of who the fuck you are. That's your job. And if you don't want to take the responsibility to get to know yourself, then you are going to fall victim to this wicked transformation in this country, in this corporation called the United Serpents of America. And I'm seeing a transformation that is a do without will transformation in society but you also have a lot of fake ass people you got a lot of people that lost touch with reality you got a lot of people that are lazy all right a lot of people that are lazy i put out a post yesterday that talked about and i've been saying this shit over and over since 2020 not all of the people that were enslaved came on a fucking boat like this shit It's simple. It's not fucking rocket science. And the scriptures talks about Hebrews being on all four corners of the planet. So if Hebrews were on all four corners of the planet, how the fuck can they just came on a ship? That don't even make sense. And when I talked about my history of my ancestors, I know for a fact that many of my ancestors, especially from the bloodline of Torres, Okay, and Rivera's were all enslaved by the Rivera's and the Torres's and the Marquez's. These are all Spanish families that transformed America or came to this place and transformed it into what now is called the United States of America. And it's like, enough is enough, man. See, a lot of people want to fucking go with the flow. There's a lot of go with the flow motherfuckers. I've never been a go with the flow motherfucker. If I see something is out of pocket, if I see something that's not right, I'm not going to just agree with it so that I could be fucking cool. And the fact of the matter is, let me tell you something. I do not subscribe to social constructs. What do I mean by that? I am not a Puerto Rican. I tell people that in this world, because if I, especially if I know I can't have a a meaningful conversation or thought provoking conversation and somebody say, who are you? Okay. I'm Puerto Rican. I just get that. I say that just so people can leave me the fuck alone. I am not Puerto Rican. I am not Hispanic. And I'm going to tell you why I'm not Hispanic. First of all, if you do your research, okay, 
the indigenous people on this planet were colonized by Europe. And the, and the, the, the biggest forces in Europe back in the 14 and 13 and 1500s was Spain and France. That's why if you are Haitian, you speak what's called Creole. And what's Creole? Creole is a dialect of French. It's a broken up dialect of French. If you are so-called Puerto Rican or Cuban or Dominican, you speak Spanish. Why? Because you were enslaved by Spaniards and their language became your language. It is no different than this fucking bastardized language called English, which I call the maybe language because everything is fucking maybe. Everything is in the gray area. We are all, right now, I'm speaking a tongue that is not mine, that is not of my bloodline. Plain and simple. So I am not Hispanic. I am not Spanish. Do I speak Spanish? Absolutely. I grew up learning how to speak Spanish because my parents spoke Spanish. My family speaks Spanish. But I am not Spanish. I come from a place or people that were colonized by Spaniards. That's why if you call yourself Negro, that is just a word. That is not who you are. Negro means black in Spanish. But you are not fucking black. Black is a fucking crayon color. Black is the ninth sky. But melanin is so much more than that. Because I don't see anything in the scriptures about the, the most high calling his people black. Or calling other people white. These are all man-made constructs. And we have to come to the point where as this country is transforming, we have to transform to a higher level of understanding instead of this low level bullshit. Because it's the same low level bullshit that makes us no different than the white supremacist that thinks he is the fucking chosen people of God and Jesus Christ. It makes you no different. None. You are the same type. You are putting out the same fucking fucked up energy as the fucking people that oppressed you. And I can understand how that can be distorted because when you are being oppressed, you want to gravitate to something that is yours. But what I'm saying, you know what is yours, people? The spirit is yours. That can never be taken away from you. The most high can never be taken out of you unless you choose to let the most high go. All these people that sold their souls, they let the most high go. They turned their back on the most high and they're going to be fucked for that. But you, if you truly believe the most high, understand that your transformation is to get to a higher ascension of understanding of what you are. And what you are is a spiritual being. That's it. You are not the flesh that you are contained in. You are so much more than that. You are the expression of the most high. You are an experience for the most high. To be experienced in a one experience And this transformation that is happening within the spiritual warfare, it goes deeper than what we can even imagine because the most high has things going on that we have no clue about, not even an inclination. I don't care how many scriptures you read. Nobody's going to know what the most high has got lined up. And yes, there are a sequence of events that are playing themselves out. But at the end of the day, 
We have to disconnect from these social constructs if we are going to ascend to a higher level, to a higher state of being. So much information is out there when it comes to melanated people, when it comes to the indigenous people. That's why I don't like to subscribe. I've been like this for a while because I had a fucking epiphany, an awakening. And I'm like, I ain't fucking Puerto Rican. Hispanic? I'm not that neither. I'm not a nigga with good hair. I'm not none of those things, man. Because even when you do your research, the word nigga, it, it's, it's a fucked up, it's, it's somebody who couldn't pronounce a word properly. And how when people couldn't pronounce a word properly, now all of a sudden, all of us are calling each other that. Why? Because we've all been manipulated by man to believe in things that don't truly exist. The only time these things exist within our perceptions of reality is when we give it life. It is no different than how we value a fucking piece of paper with some ugly, wrinkly ass man's face on it. And we say that has value. When it fucking doesn't, but because our level of perception chooses to give it value, now it does. Now, wherever we go, motherfuckers want to kill you for that piece of paper. They want it because the level of perception in the transformation of this fucking wicked place has got people all fucked up. I'm, I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of it. When you're dealing with spiritual people, look at them like that. Don't look at them by the fucking complexion of their skin. Because you're going to get yourself fucked up, people. I'm telling you right now, you're going to get it twisted if you haven't already. Because at the end of the day, the most high, just think about it. If we were created in the image of the most high, I ain't never heard nobody call the most high a nigga. I ain't never heard anybody called the most high a white dude. I ain't never heard somebody called the most high a fucking Asian or a wetback or yellow or red or blue or green. But how can you? The most high don't even need a fucking name. The most high is what is and whatever will be and will continue to be. How can you even give that shit a name? Man gave the most high a name. The United States is transforming because we are in spiritual warfare. All of these things that are happening right now, we're in a time where time doesn't even exist, but the perception of it is being accelerated. The vibration that it brings through our perceptions is accelerating. And because of that, you got a multitude of things all happening at the same time. Especially when it comes to the United Serpents of America. The United Serpents of America is going through a stage right now to where it's going to be a point of no return. And I say, keep doing it. I can't wait. Now what you're going to see is you're going to see all of these red states, right, which is mostly southern states, and which I live in one, which I'm in one right now. All these states don't want abortions to be legalized anymore. Great. Now what is that going to do? Now you have more opposition. Now you got places like New York that's going to be looked at as some fucking Mecca because of some shit that women feel like they can do or want to do. So they're going to be like, that's the better place to be. But whatever it is going to do, it's just going to create more division in a place that is heavily divided, heavily divided. But it is what it is. That's his purpose to divide and conquer 
And they've been doing a great job of it for over 500 years. See, spiritually, I've had, I've gone into deep sleep states. I've gone into deep meditative states where I've seen some shit. If you've heard my story about me tapping into a new another dimension where I saw my robe and my crown, been there, done that. And I'm looking forward to seeing more. But I've been in situations where I've seen how in my past lives, I've gone through some shit. I even had a um, had a vision in a deep meditative state where I had people carrying me on like a gurney. And I was in Egypt, in Kemet. And I was being brought to a fucking pyramid. And I got through, thrown down this hole that uh, the pyramid opened up like a portal type of shit. It was like, woo, 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 woo. and they threw me in that bitch and I woke up. I didn't get to see what I was being thrown into. But I say all of this to let you know that the United States is not what you think it is. Our experience here is not what you think it is. We are so far from the truth. Even many of us that understand some truth, we're still light years away from what the real truth is. Because if we really knew who the fuck we are, we would be fucking walking through walls and all other types of shit and accessing all that other DNA that is connected to us that we don't have, that we're not utilizing, which they call the junk DNA. This shit goes real deep, people. If we was to connect to that type of DNA, we would have the strength of 100 men in one man. That's a fact. We would be able to do shit like telekinesis and stuff. And that's why some of us that tap into those inner recessives, genes and hormones of the DNA can do certain things like that. That's why you have savants and all of that. They're tapping into certain DNA that most of us don't get to access. But we are all, no matter what your skin complexion is, people, we are all spiritual beings having a physical experience. Say that to yourself over and over again. I guarantee you, you will see life in a completely different way. We get too bombarded with perceptions And usually it's a bombardment of perception from someone else. And people tend to gravitate to that because people are lazy. They don't really want to find out who they are. They don't want to dig down deep into who they are. They don't really want to get to know themselves. They want other people to tell them who they are. And that is the very reason why this country is being transformed into the do without will principle, which is a Luciferian principle. It is a very dark, demonic principle that many Luciferian Satanists practice. And all you're going to see when it comes to the United Serpents of America is more demonic transformation. Being out here has really done a couple of things for me. Being out here just makes me grateful to be alive. That's number one. Grateful for the things I have, the relationship that I'm in and all that. But it also woke me up to the bullshit of how people perceive other people and want to dictate who the fuck you are. And want to have a certain level of prejudice towards other people based on skin complexion, based on the way they dress, the way they talk. And it's like, I used to be like that coming from New York. I used to look at people that were from down south like, look at these fucking country bunking motherfuckers. I used to be ignorant like that when I was young. But I had to wake up to a higher level of under, over, and inner standing that all this shit that I was thinking that was real was fake as fuck. 
And it's because I lived in a, I live in a society that's constantly transforming me to believe a legacy of lies, like many of us. And we have to see part of our responsibility while we're here is to break free from the legacy of lies that we've been taught. And we have to recondition, reprogram, restructure our way of seeing the world. But more importantly, the only way we can see the world differently is by seeing ourselves differently. By looking in the mirror and seeing that miracle, by looking in the mirror and understanding that what you are looking at is a spiritual being having a physical experience. So the outer shell, the exterior is temporary, but the inner is permanent. I'm so grateful that I have this platform because I feel like the stuff that I've been talking about for a long time now that I'm going to start reiterating on a lot of shit because I think some people have been forgetting or some people don't just don't want to accept the truth for what it is. I'm very grateful for this because I feel like many of our brothers and sisters are being led astray. They're being pigeonholed. They're being pigeonholed into something that is not real. They're being pigeonholed to be limited in their way of living. They're not really getting to experience and understand who the fuck they are because their their belief systems are becoming limited. And one thing I had to do was I had to break free of these social constructs. If somebody was to ask me where my family from, of course, I'm going to say the status quo shit for the sake of the conversation. But if I'm going to have a deep and meaningful conversation and somebody says, well, where are you from? I'm from another fucking galaxy, man. I'm not even from this fucking place. And just because I speak a certain language, that don't mean I'm that type of person. And I'm going to say it again. If you are looking at yourself as some form of a social construct, stop now. Stop it because you are limiting yourself. You are not a crayon color. You are not the language you speak. There's no such. You know who's Spanish? You know who's truly Spanish? People that are born in Spain. If you are born in Spain, you are Spanish. Because back in the days, wherever you were from is who you were. If you were born in Rome, you were Roman. If you was born in Greece, you was a Greek. That's how it was. All of a sudden, now we're looking at each other and calling each other black and white and Hispanic and Negro and fucking... um white American and African Americans like get out of here. What the fuck is American? American to me is a demonic construct. And it shows in people's behavior because most people that are from this fucking wicked place, their actions say it all. Most people from this place are narcissistic and selfish and egotistical. Enough said. And it's all about what can I do to get a one-up on you or what can I do to keep you down? And what can I do to make myself look a certain way and make you not look that way? And some of us even take the shit that we're doing And take it for themselves like if they're the fucking ones that's doing that. And coming up with all these great concepts and ideas and themes. And levels of understanding. And I think a lot of it is because this culture here in America is all about robbing people. And not giving people their just props and dues. Isn't that what America is about? Oh, I'm going to take your shit. And I'm going to claim it as mine. 
And I'm not going to mention shit about you. Isn't that what America is about? So it doesn't surprise me that most people in this country are like that. Because they grew up in a fucking society, in an environment that is very foundation to the core, to the nucleus of it, is all about that bullshit type of energy. So it doesn't surprise me that a lot of people in America are like that. So, I'm going to take an intermission because it's not going to be a long show. But I want to give a shout out to my, to wifey that's in the chat room. I see she's in the other room while I'm broadcasting. And um, shout outs to Alkaline J. And you know what? I said it yesterday or did I say it Saturday? I'm going to say it again. Sister Antoinette, those oils are phenomenal. Straight phenomenal. Of course, your body butters are great too, but those oils are phenomenal. I love them. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep putting them on every day. And if I could use your other products, I would have used those too. But I'm not a woman. <laughs> but if I was, I'd be using the shit out of them. So for everybody listening, when I promoted Sister Antoinette's products, get them. Get them. You will not be disappointed. Get that real shit because the sisters got some phenomenal products. And I personally want to see people like Sister Antoinette be highly successful because she's been through, she's been through it. Her journey's been long. Like many of us, I respect a lot of people that have been through some real hardcore, heavy duty shit in their lives and to still persevere and come out on top and still make it happen because a lot of us not many of us that go through these challenges and trials and tribulations a lot of us don't make it that's why my friends always tell me shout out to my boy Chung in South Carolina he always tells me he said Reg if I would have went through half of the shit you went through in your life I would have been fucked up or in jail or dead I would have lost my shit. I wouldn't have had the resiliency to endure all of this shit you endured and still keep a positive mindset to persevere and move forward. But the only reason I was able to do these things, just like this sister here, is because you have to have a deep connection to the most high. And you're not going to have that connection by reading books. You have to have that connection from within. It has to be a desire from the spirit because the spirit is constantly being called upon. But you have to answer the call. You have to spiritually awaken yourself because a lot of what we've been taught here, a lot of what's been left here is all distorted. All of it. It's all fucked up. And it makes our perceptions fucked up. And then a lot of us speak about these things with such great fucking conviction. Like we fucking know so much, but we don't. And I'm here as a messenger to tell you that. I'm here to tell you that the light is not at the end of the tunnel. The light is within you. Light up the tunnel, but you're not going to be able to light up the tunnel if you're being fucking lazy with your spiritual responsibilities and getting to understand who you are. And if you want to understand who you are, let go of everything. Clear the fucking, the whole entire, clear the mind of everything you've been taught because chances are most of it, if not all of it, has been a lie. You have to rediscover yourself. And if you never heard the episode that I did in season three called We Are Orphans, check it out. Download it because there's some gems in there. And I don't really take credit for a lot of shit that I say because a lot of stuff that I say comes through me. It doesn't come from me. It comes through me from a higher source. I know that. 
And when I did the show, We Are Orphans, I said that we are orphans spiritually because we are all trying to find our parents. Spiritually, we're trying to find our father. We're trying to find the most high. But the most high is already here within us. But we still have to find the most high within us because we are constantly being distracted and led astray from that from that powerful truth of who we are, which is a spiritual being having a physical experience. And the United States of America is transforming into this diabolical, very self-destructive, woe is me mentality place. And it's nothing but a place that is constantly getting you to feel inadequate, to feel like you don't have enough. And they do that with material things. You know, let it not, we, um, we got some rings, okay? We got wedding bands. And if you would ask me if I was to want to get a woman a wedding band or signify something in our relationship that lets, you know, other people know that we are married or whatever, I, I would have been like, nah, I'm not doing that. But when we did that yesterday, it was a lady. I just want to tell you how, how the spirit works, how, how things happen for a reason and how the Most High makes no mistakes. The lady that I purchased the rings from yesterday, right? After I gave her the money, I told her to keep the change. You know what she did? She went into her, her um, pocketbook, and it was a melanated woman. She went into her pocketbook, and she said, I don't want this, but here, take this. She broke it down into singles from the change. She said, take this, and can you make sure you pass it to the homeless people you come across? When you're walking around. I said, okay, no problem. Now, something let us said, she said, see, that lady knows that we must be spiritual people. I said, why is that? She said, because she gave you the money back knowing in her spirit that you was going to do exactly what she asked of you. That you was going to do the right thing. And guess what? I fucking did. Ne there was never a point in my mind that I said, oh, I'm going to pocket this and spend it on myself. So what did I do? The first homeless man I came across gave him uh, a dollar. And then the second homeless man I came across, I gave him the rest of the money. He was laying in front of a church. And he was kind of like not sleeping, but he had his eyes closed, kind of like resting. And when we walked up on him, he wasn't scared or anything. He said, thank you. You know what I'm saying? And it, it just, it felt right because I did what I said I was going to do. And I thought about what Lettuce said and it made perfect fucking sense. That's why I keep saying to you people, if you really going to be about this life, other people will recognize it in you. I'm not looking for recognition from men or women. I what I I'm gonna be honest. I'm just gonna keep keep it a hundred. I don't like it when people don't get the props that they deserve from others. I see a lot of that in the hip hop community too. Because when I was growing up, I like the brothers that inspired me to become an MC, which was Brand Nubian, Lord Jamal, Derek X. And Grand Poobar, those were the guys that made me want to become an artist. And one thing I noticed about those days, Tribe Called Quest, Leaders of the New School, Brand Nubian, Jungle Brothers. Um, who else am I forgetting? Damn, there's so many. But everybody was fucking with each other. Like they was giving each other props, shouting each other on the tracks. You know what I'm saying? It was very rare that there was a beef. And if there was a beef, they either fought it out, talked it out, 
and kept it moving. But not nowadays. Nowadays, there's a lot of fucking competition and a lot of ratchet shit. There's a lot of underhanded shit that I see that I don't fucking like. And I'm trying to, I'm staying away from it, people. I'm staying away from it because I don't want to be caught up in that shit. I'm tired of people not really recognizing real when real is right in front of their fucking face. The shit is exhausting. And I ain't never, I'm going to say it again, I ain't never been a dick rider of any man or any woman. I ain't never been jealous of another fucking man in my entire life. And I don't plan on doing it now. And I said it before, I'll say it again. The only person I've ever, and I can say this confidently, it's not, it doesn't exist anymore. But the only person that I was jealous of, like truly jealous, like had that fucking vibration of jealousy in my spirit was for my daughter's mother because she was raising my child without me. That's the only reason. The United States is transforming people. And I suggest that you transform to getting a closer connection to the most high. Transform who you are as the spiritual being having a physical experience to get closer to the most high. Do not transform with this country that is going to fall to its demise. So if you're somebody that is chasing materialism, if you're somebody that is gravitating to all of the deviant, low level, low vibration behavior, stop it and readjust or continue with it and see where it takes you. And if you are unhappy with your life, maybe it's because you are transforming with a country that the people that run it, that are the perpetrators of the manipulation that is causing this transformation. Look at yourself and understand that you are gravitating to things that really do nothing for you long term. All it's providing you is with a temporary sensation. And even people, some of these people in the truth community are doing the same shit, man. They're gravitating to things because it sounds good to them and it's a temporary sensation. And they think just because they have a certain skin complexion that they're fucking better than other people. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm telling y'all right now, a lot of y'all people in this so-called truth community, you're not spiritual. You have no fucking right to even think that you are. You are so far from it. You are no different than the white supremacists who thinks that because they have a certain skin complexion that they are better than you. You are just like them. No fucking different. Spiritual responsibility is a great responsibility. And it's not one to where you have to gravitate to the social constructs. Because when you gravitate to social constructs, you are gravitating to the world, which means you are doing worldly world things. You are not being, of, you are not utilizing the higher self. You are not thinking from the perception of the higher self. The higher self is not guiding that. But when you start looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I see a fucking miracle, and that miracle doesn't have any type of social construct attached to it, that it's just a part of that which is and always will be, now you're going somewhere. Let's take an intermission, and I'll be right back, and we'll sum things up because um, I got to get back to, uh, you know, to spending time with wifey before I go. So with that being said, you know what we're going to start it off with, right? You know why we got to get that seventh seal cipher in here. So let's, this is brother take one, Yazan, Landon, myself, Tina, Dutch, also known as the realist and the visionary from the realist and the visionary. Check out their podcast show and check out D nice's music. 
as well as check out Slime Doe 23 on IG. Let's go. Nothing like this. You are now tuned in to the network of awareness. To the network of awareness. To the network of awareness. Please just tell me what's happening to me in plain English with, without the mumbo jumbo. Who built this shit? Me, brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk, 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 talk. Uh, here we are, back again, about to drop some facts again Yahweh's word spreads like a vicious net For capturing those with an ear to listen Those who paid attention Those who stand bold like a soldier with their convictions Not quick to fold or throw in the towel when under pressure They walk it like they talk it, they live the message But depression's what most folks are facing They got the vaccination, we in zombie land Pretty soon we gon' have to dance Better keep that sword on your body, fam This far from the game, Babylon will bring down and blame Some debts are better off with slow So you can witness the pain you tortured slaves for 100 plus years of pain Hung brothers up in the trees Swinging for days and days Now this is your end of days You looking so disarrayed Try to cover your ears But the truth still gon' penetrate The hatred is strong But racists still want to imitate And integrate Only Yahweh's chosen holy nation Can ever be this great Yahweh's amazing Before I eat I'm singing my graces I pray for knowledge and wisdom And peace we dwell in greatness 144,000 frequencies and vibrations So don't give me am Go take a hike and camp like Concentrations, pull up my pants and send my genes to elevate genetics. I'm concentrating, no recess to dominate recessives. No car insurance, the way I swerve, they be like impressive. Stephanie Courtney, know my flow is looking more progressive. My aura is a network full of awareness and gifts like aura, the informational list. Shout out my brother, take one. All these chances in life, don't hesitate and wait to take one. We are the true Jews, about to take off. Hitler knows we don't play soft. I pull up and let like eight off. Watch a demon hair splatter. Give me back my platter that y'all just ate off. Yo, remember what we talked about being something special as one third? Well, I feel like we're finally here. A righteous Wall Street, bro. Yes, sir, let's get it. All praise to the Most High. This is only the beginning. Against the wall like a cat, guess what? I'm clawing out of that big facts. Guarantee no pussies over here. When it all goes down, I'm negating all fear. You hear? Leave me your ear like a homeless man asking for a dollar. The irony in that two thirds are going to holler, cause it's not gonna worship. 
you dead Put your body in the ditch if your ass cannot handle it The Elise is playing with us, call it Squid Games You decide if you want your brains falling on your lap And let the rats eat it Just to be safe, no honor in that I'd rather be with killers, that's big facts You would never see me selling my ass for some cash Hollywood is gonna burn down and crash I'm be excited about this No tear dropping when it really ends It's about to hit like a cool fist The demons cannot block this Funny how we went from whips and chains. Now the only thing we sing about is our whips and platinum chains. Instead of seeking the most high, they rather seek the fame. So what's changed? They tried voting, they tried marching, and a damn thing changed. We still got burned and hung from a tree. Now you want to be a mason of the 33rd degree. Yahweh never died on a cross, he died on a tree. So what's changed? I tell you what's changed. Now we know the truth. Hebrews are the chosen people. And Judah is the proof. Shalom, Barakatha, and salute. When the light has faded and darkness is abroad, the light is only dim because the darkness teaches us lessons that need to be learned in order for one to move forward. Embrace the darkness. For the darkness is your friend. So there is no end. It's only an illusion to what has been. Follow the light and let the spirit embark on a flight to a destination unknown. But to a place where love is the building blocks that call this place home. We are always accompanied on this journey but still feel alone. It is never the same journey or experience that is ever shown. It is your imagination that awakens the past the storm because it is a pure compassion in the soul that is vigorous and strong we're one with eternity so let's be connected to the positive stream that allows us to fulfill our infinite destiny most definitely let's strive to be the best people we can be with a power that is humanly new to see so mistaken dismay can lead us astray so let us stay for it is our free will that allows us to make a choice so I choose Yahweh with no delay. Yeah, yeah. I made mistakes on purpose to divide the word from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been a lot before churches. Cause Yah is person, I'm person. So I'm worried about complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, so searching. Networking and murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain. With a spirit that city suburban. I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose. To lyrically service the uh, mental mouth nourish until I perish. Yahweh's yeah, gonna perish, save the awakened, then take him to an ageless haven. Patient, I can't stray away. Gotta keep obliterating the pavement. Still remember that day on the phone mark. He said, yo, take, don't you take your foot off the gas. It's always something to give y'all praises. We're the dark oasis for countless cases. A peak of faithless, I'm gonna need the patience. Defeat the chases, we seek his graces for true salvation. We keep on praising, we call place these revelations. See sayings, no old cases. Good vibrations, we back to basics to build foundations. Y'all defeated Satan. I done made mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been a lot before churches. Cause y'all is person, I'm person. So I'm worried about complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, so searching. Networking. And murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain With a spirit that city suburban I'm seriously merging And physically working on my purpose To lyrically service The mental mouth nourish until I perish People pursue an act of violence Third persistent act of the virus Freely forming a righteous alliance Truly against the science appliance On a mission with wisdom and guidance Steady defeat in the ignorant science Seely convicted in non-compliance Spiritual wars to move in Let's science. talk about what matters Drop the vanity Folks out here losing their sanity Kids popping off lost in fantasies People grieving over loss of family the evil that be with the power, turning the people with creeds to cowards, seeking to seize believers with bows. Many of his TV can see that it's foul. I'd have made mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been a lot.
up of all churches Cause Yah is personal person So I'm aware of a complicated versions Cause the call to divine divergence I'm still hurting, so searching Then working and murking Anytime take a drop my curtain With a spirit that city suburban I'm seriously merging And physically working on my purpose To lyrically service The mental mouth nourish until I perish Depression gone with every song Music led by another echelon To get you strong, keep pressing on Long after we dead and gone From dust till dawn, we're righteously armed With spiritual lessons from Yah We where we belong, we keep it on The righteous with third is Zion Records embellished with heavenly eloquence Elohim's presence presently evident Intricate elements, infinite intelligence Spiritual specimens, lyrically resonant The people's inheritance, smaller percentages Can't believe measured, it meant to be shared With the message projected, cemented, embedded The sensible the question, question is, what would you give from it? Made mistakes on purpose To divide the word from the worthless Reveal the facts to be certain No pain, no gain in the verses My faith in a lot of all churches Cause Yah is personal person So I'm aware of a complicated versions Cause the call to divine divergence I'm still hurting, so searching Then working and murking Anytime, take a drop my curtain with a spirit that city suburban I'm seriously merging And physically working on my purpose To lyrically service The mental mouth nourish until I perish Life is an unpredictable and amazing journey Our ever-changing conditions within today's society And the constant new trends influencing cultures Can become overwhelming to say the least but no worries the network of awareness podcast radio show brings peace of mind in these challenging times follow us on your favorite podcast listening app and join our community of network of awareness at network of awareness.com So brothers and sisters, um, I want to say the last thing is that while the United States is transforming into the do what thou wilt Luciferian principle to become the norm, transform yourself as a spiritual being having a physical experience, transform and ascend to getting closer to the most high and make sure that you are doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Okay, brothers and sisters, it's very important because this country is not just falling, but before it's falling, it's transforming to its fall as it was meant to because there is no place that can operate off of the foundation that it was built off, which was rape, torture, uh, pillaging, and manipulation that will ever last. History has shown us that over and over and over again. So this bitch is losing oxygen, slowly but surely. And when she falls, she won't ever get back the fuck up. So transform yourself to getting closer to something meaningful while others are transforming themselves to things that are unmeaningful, separate, depart from these people because the transformation that is going on with them is the very transformation that's going on in this country and don't get caught up in the worldly world of things because this all is a temporary sensation. Focus on that which is permanent. I focus on permanent sensations, the sensation that never goes away. And the one sensation, sensation that doesn't go away, that fills my spirit up, that even fills my body up with an exhilarating adrenaline is my love and dedication to serving the Most High because I know that the Most High has gotten me, even when I didn't deserve to have, you know, hands placed on me, the most high still found me worthy, worthy enough that I'm able to be a messenger for people all over the world. And that is not my message, it's the message of the most high. So people, be aware and be prepared. So with that being said, when you live in the present, there's always an opportunity for a new beginning. Start your new beginning today. And don't look for the light at the end of the tunnel. 
because the light is and always will be within you. So light up the tunnel and find your way through the darkness. This is all the information list from the network of awareness saying peace, love, light, barakadah. All praise to our great creator, the most high.